Try it yourself, using jQuery and JavaScript to access DOM elements. In this Try It Yourself exercise, we'll access and modify Document Object Model, or DOM, elements by using both jQuery and JavaScript. We have just a single solution file for this exercise. It's in the OUR5 folder, and the HTML file is OUR0502. What we're doing here with this file is integrating the jQuery library. Of course, on line 6, we have a script element with a source property that pulls in that library. We discussed and learned how to download the file in the previous Try It Yourself exercise. The function write it is executed when the page body loads and changes the content and appearance of the text. The text otherwise, if it weren't for jQuery, would say jQuery or JavaScript, and then which method do you prefer? But as you can see, the function actually dynamically modifies those elements. They access the DOM using both JavaScript and jQuery methods. You'll want to notice that with jQuery, two actions are chained together. The first sets the CSS font weight property and the second changes text contained in an element. With JavaScript, you can use getElementById, that's a method, and then you set the inner HTML property directly in the DOM to change the text dynamically inside the browser. To have the script execute when the document's loaded, what we do is tie the writeIt function to the body on load event at line 15. Without any further ado, let's run the project in a browser, and we can see the jQuery instantly comes into action and all we wind up with is the bold jQuery and the replaced text, I prefer jQuery.